KCS, we believe good fertility recommendations start with good soil samples. And in order to have good soil samples, you need a well-trained professional team out there taking them. Most fields we sample are 15 to 20 acres, and we'll take 10 to 20 core samples per field. We drive our probe six to eight inches down for each core, and then mix all those cores into a bucket. From that mixture, we pull our final sample for that field. Fields are sampled according to their subfield management zone. For each zone, we assess the shape to determine the best path to take for sampling. It's really important to take multiple subsamples in each field in order to get an accurate representation of the field. ACS technicians are all trained in the same way by our in-house trainer. The training includes an emphasis on protocol consistency across the company and safety both in the field and on the ATV. We take over 10,000 soil samples a year, so we need to cover a lot of acres quickly, efficiently, and safely, and make sure we take a good representative sample every time. Once we have the samples, technicians use an automated labeling process that allows the sample information to get scanned in at the lab. We'll see later how this process makes the data more accessible in the ACS advising software and also in the fields and crops record keeping software. Back in the lab, the AgriOne lab staff put the soil samples into a drying oven at 50 degrees Celsius. Once dried, the samples are ground and run through a robotic tester for pH. Another round of weighing and high temperature burning allow for organic matter content analysis. Then samples are off to the ICP for elemental analysis. All of the data is run through the lab information software, or LIMS system, which calculates results back to parts per million. The results are then sent to the farm or downloaded into the ACS software. Once the soil sample test results are available, ACS agronomists can start to develop recommendations for the farm. The ACS proprietary software allows many pieces of field information to be simultaneously considered for making lime or nutrient recommendations, such as current crop, what the next crop will be, the desired pH range, and the desired nutrient levels for each field. The end result of nutrient recommendations are field work order lists that the farm uses to communicate with agri-service providers that are applying nutrients or lime to fields. These field lists are given to the farm as hard copies or transferred directly to the farm's on-farm record keeping system or as shape files for automated variable rate recommendations. Recommendations made in the fall are typically lime, fall potash with or without micronutrients, and then in the spring another round of fertilizer recommendations are made using the same soil sample results. After first cutting, more soil samples may be pulled on important alfalfa fields to determine additional potash needs. Throughout the season, more soil sampling in problem areas combined with tissue samples provide important information when fields or sections are not performing adequately, or to positively identify pervasive micronutrient excesses or deficiencies on fields. In the end, recommendations can only be as good as the soil sample. Proper soil sampling and sample handling is not just important, it's essential for any good crop fertility program. Ensure your soil sampling program is providing your farm with a sound fertility plan foundation. An easy way to do this is to call ACS for professional soil sampling services.